Good day, everyone. Appreciate you checking out our latest video. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how we go about building a cinder block retaining wall. We got the okay from the geo inspector to finish the last 20 feet. We already completed approximately 105 feet of the wall here. The footings for this section is approximately 6 feet wide by 18 inches deep. And we have a keyway that's 12 to 16 inches wide by 3 feet deep. The guys are doing a little clean out here of the footing to get us down to the approximately 3 feet. Here we're starting to frame for the uh, outside of the footing using 2 by 12s. We're starting to tie the rebar here. All rebar for this section is number four, 12 inches on center. You may have noticed us placing this two by six down the middle of our footing. This will allow us to add our rebar that's going to be placed in the wall. The purpose of this is to allow our rebar to stay straight and center. A lot of labor goes into this part. All ties are eight inches on center. We passed the inspection and I think we was ready for con concrete, but that was a negative. I told this guy to stay to the left, to the right of the driveway the whole time. And as you can see, we're not pouring concrete today. So here it is the next day. And as anybody that pours concrete knows, the concrete company is always on the way. So we're just passing time until the concrete truck gets here.
By the truck getting stuck yesterday, we had to run everything from the street, which is about 400 feet. Here you'll see some rocks that got stuck in the concrete pump, which caused another delay. So we're back to throwing the football. Once we got the rocks cleared, everything else pretty much went smoothly. just pretty much stripped all the forms. Took off the two by six. You can see this part is even time consuming, taking it off one by one. Now we're starting to mix our motor for the cinder blocks. Here's a little inside look of the mixer. With any retaining wall, the footing is the most important part. So here's where the most time is taken up to make sure that it's done right. It's a real time consuming part here. Now that we got the first row down, it's time to lay our first block to get our level for the second row. Again, the footing of any retaining wall is the most important and time consuming part. Getting this part correct is critical to any retaining wall. It took us about a day and a half to complete seven rows for this section of the retaining wall. Watch the video to the end to see us complete these seven rows. Appreciate if you hit the like and subscribe button as well. Thank you.
pretty much gonna let the video ride out here. I appreciate it if you hit the like and subscribe button below. Appreciate you guys' time. If you're in the Bay Area or Northern California, like to set up an appointment, please do so by following the link below. Everyone else, thank you again for your time. Be sure to leave any comments below. Also, like and share this video and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our next project.